Thank you. All right, going about your day to day with even the slightest aches and pains can be really tough. Imagine living with spinal pain. Mike Hernandez has more on how to get rid of it for good, thanks to one lo local doctor. Take a look. All right, we're at Spine Pain Be Gone. This is Dr. Guy uh, Focal, and he owns this business, runs it, and his main purpose is to try to relieve back pain, which so many of us have. Now, one of the things you do, you said this minimally invasive surgery, that you, you do that with everything, but, but there is also some things that you do specifically, you use special equipment to try to get at certain spots and not affect the nerves. Tell us a little bit about it, because it's, it's very complicated. Well, everyone wants to know what is minimally invasive surgery, and probably the the premier thing we can do is use an endoscope, which is sort of like an arthroscope we look in a joint with, but we can look at the spine. It's uh, relatively small, but it has a working port, so you can put uh, devices through it. You can put things like a little heater, and you can put a, a laser, you can put a, a curette, you can put a small uh, burring instrument through the working port on these endoscopes. And these are done in H HD now, right? So oh, you yeah, really can HD. see, and you can yeah. really get in there yeah. and see what you're doing. Yeah, you're basically watching a video monitor of what you're doing. So what are we trying to get at here? here here's a, just so a here's replica. a spine model and the right. disc is up front and the posterior facet joints are back here and the spinal canal is in the center here with your nerves coming off uh, the dural sac. In the lumbar spine, the low back, it's below the level of the spinal cord so there's no risk of paralysis but you can certainly ding a nerve root as it goes by. And the way this endoscope works is from an oblique angle you come in and you go right on the edge of the disc outside the canal. But you can do a lot from here. You can open up the window and take the pressure off the nerve by burying away bone spurs. You can do a discectomy, take away some of the disc from in here. You can reach up underneath and actually pull pieces of fragments in the canal. You can pull them out that way uh, through a small hole. And most of this is done as an outpatient, which is a real advantage for spine surgery. So you don't have to necessarily go in and spend days and days. How, what's the recovery on, on this? Well, this sort of thing is usually a couple of weeks and you should be back to wow. yourself and wow. you know if you have pressure on a nerve root then you know with the pressure off the nerve root gets well and, and lower back so many people so many people are afraid of it because anytime you're talking about that area you start talking about discs and nerves and people just shy away from that because of the dangers that are involved right um, you know I think things have changed with smaller incisions and using the c-arm which is a type of fluoroscopy x-ray during surgery we can be very precise about the placement of our tools we also also use some very advanced neurological monitoring and with that we can detect how close we are to the nerve root and, st and stay away from it or prevent injury. All right well very interesting stuff there way above my head but not above uh, Dr. Focal so if people want more information what do they need to do? Well I'd go to my website spinepainbegone.com just spell it out. All right, all right. Spinepainbegone.com and you can find out how you can get some relief maybe that you've been suffering with for years. Thank you so much, Mike. And he was actually talking to Guy Fogel, Dr. Guy Fogel of Texas Spine and Back Surgeon. He is a Texas Spine and Back Surgeon. He's located at 8042 Wurzbach Road, number 350. And we can check him out online if you can't go out to see him at spinepainbegone.com or just give him a call at 210-251-3671. All right.